Hello and welcome to this video on VLSI. So this is a tutorial video on different implementation strategies in Vivado. So we usually have different design and development goals and we will try to compare different implementation strategies. So we will take an example project and from the template we will select the synthesized CPU project. So this is a uh, example project we will give a name to our project and we will choose the project location as default location click on next so this will give a details of the hardware so we are choosing a default hardware because basically this is a simulation project so this opens the project summary window so we will click on create the project so this project is getting created and now this is the home interface of the Vivado. I am using 2018 version of the Vivado. So as you can see the project already contains a default implementation run. We will create three additional runs and use different implementation strategies. So to create new implementation runs click on uh, flow, man, uh, flow from the menu button. So we are using the first implementation strategy as the default the second implementation strategy that we are using is the performance explorer. The third implementation strategy that we will be using is called as the physical optimization. So we will be optimizing our physical hardware. Then the fourth strategy that we are using is called as the runtime optimization strategy. So we will be optimizing the runtime in the second strategy. So in the fourth strategy so the first strategy is the default the second strategy is performance explore the third strategy is physical hardware optimization and the final strategy is the runtime optimization so as you can see we have chosen different strategies as per the different development goals so uh, this is the summary three additional implementation runs will be created we will click on finish so as you can see in the bottom we are having a total of four implementation runs and there are different columns also like WNS, TNS, WHS and all these. So uh, this is the, uh, we can view the resource utilization uh, for the active implementation in like this. So we will click on uh, running the implementation. So as you can see I have run the implementation and this is a basic summary for the various design runs. So the first uh, implementation run uses the default settings. The second implementation run uses multiple algorithms for optimization, placement and routing. And the third is the, um, uh, the third implementation strategy is similar to the default but it includes the physical optimization step also. And the final strategy trades the design performance for better runtime and the physical optimization design is disabled in the final strategy. So uh, use, uh, so obviously it will take lesser time to execute so uh, that we can see the time to execute each implementation can be seen in the elapsed uh, column in the elapsed time column and these are the different uh, parameters tpws is the total pulse, pulse width slack and all these so uh, we will we will have the resource utilization also like LUT is the lookup table, FF is the flip uh, flip-flop which means the number of lookup tables utilized is the number of flip-flops utilized and the number of B ramps utilized for the implementation. So we can compare the we can compare the utilization of the different implementation runs here in the project summary window. So the project summary uh, for the active implementation will give you the uh, resource utilization. So uh, and the most important parameter out of this is the first parameter which is the WNS which stands for worst negative slack. So the negative value of this WNS will indicate timing violation. So as you can see uh, at present none of our strategy is having a negative value of WNS. So no strategy uh, is indicating the timing violations. So uh, the WNS shows that all the runs are meeting our timing requirements. So let us wait for the fourth implementation also 
to finish so please like and share the videos for uh, more such videos on vlsi and i have also made videos on cadence virtuoso software so please like and share the video and subscribe the channel your feedback really motivates me to make more such videos on vlsi design so uh, uh, we can make uh, the different implementations active to see their resource utilization and to see the different timing constraints for each implementation and we can uh, compare them also uh, as you can see so using the make active button we can make different implementations active and view the uh, view the summary for those implementation in form of a graph or a table also so as you can see the first implementation has a worst negative slack of 0.974 the second implementation has a worst negative slack of 1.079 and the third implementation has a worst negative slack or wns of 0.974 and finally we will have the fourth implementation also completed so its worst negative slack is 1.351 so all the implementations are now complete now we will change the timing constraints to make the timing closure more difficult so as you can see uh, the worst negative slack in fpga refers to the timing violations that occurs when the critical path in the design fails to meet the required timing constraint so the worst negative slack exists for the critical path remember this so when the worst negative slack Uh, wns is negative then it means that the critical path has uh, failed the timing requirement so uh, if wns is zero then it means that the uh, critical paths meet meet its timing requirements precisely so now we will um, change the timing constraints to make the timing closure more difficult so we will from the constraints we will obtain the uh, we will we will open the constraint file in the text editor in vivado so as you can see this is uh, we have obtained this constraint file so and in the line 2 we will change the clock period so as you can see presently it is 10 10 nanosecond we will change it to 7.35 nanosecond so we are reducing the time or we are increasing the frequency that is we are making our clock faster so when we make our clock faster then our design will also automatically get faster so as you can see as as soon as i saved this constant file then the status for all these implementation in the bottom changed they are now all out of date because the constant the timing constants have changed we have changed the timing constants from the constant file now the clock is more faster so we will have to implement all these runs again and uh, again we will run them one by one and see the new values of the parameters wns tns and all of these and let us see whether uh, any timing uh, violations are obtained or not so uh, now i have uh, run these again so as you can see the wns values has reduced Pre previously it was 1.079 for uh, implementation second but now it is 0.181 only and also you can see the elapsed time for all these implementation runs so uh, if we see the elapsed time then we can see that the implementation number 4 which is the run time optimization uh, completed in less than 10 minutes uh, but uh, it it was also a, a little bit slower or uh, it was it uh, did not um, uh, it was uh, slower in the timing constants uh, whereas the implementation number 2 which is the performance explorer took more time to execute but it was faster in meeting the timing requirements see you can see the wns is 0.181 means it its critical path has the highest wns so it is it is giving the best timing performance and whereas the fourth strategy which took only which took less than 10 minutes uh, to execute but it is it is uh, it is uh, taking more timing so the timing constraints for the different implementation strategies are obtained uh, we can compare also we can compare the 
total power utilization also also we can see that the number of the LUT requirements have also changed um, previously there were 19,866 but now 19,909 so the number of LUTs have also increased when we uh, made the timing closure more difficult so in this way we can uh, optimize our design using Vivado for uh, different design and development goals so thank you and best of luck and please like and share the video and leave the feedback in the comment box. Thank you.